the second coming of Christ, October 8th. Soon our eyes will be drawn to the east, uh, for a small black cloud will appear, about half as large of a man's hand, uh, which we all will know is the sign of the coming of the Son of Man. We all in solemn silence will gaze on the cloud as it draws nearer and become lighter and glorious and still more glorious. The Bible is quite clear to us in Psalm 50, verse 3 and verse 4. It says, God shall come and shall not keep a silent. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his uh, people. Uh, understand, my brothers and sisters, as we look at the word judge, the original uh, says minister a uh, judgment. Uh, uh, understand that when Christ comes, he is not coming to decide who is going to eternal life or who is going to eternal damnation. But when he comes, his reward is with him. He is coming to administer uh, the judgment. Every case will be decided before his entrance uh, to this earth. Now, you might be wondering what judgment God will administer uh, to you. Uh, it's simple. It just depends on the decision you make for him today. If you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior today, uh, then the only uh, ministering of judgment on your part will be everlasting life. But if you reject him today, uh, then he uh, would have no choice but to administer the judgment of eternal damnation. Why not let us trust his word uh, today? Let us ask God for wisdom to decide for him every day. That is the power of uh, his word. Let's pray. Father, bless us with wisdom today uh, so that we can decide for you every step of the way. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.